Hi guys, I am VP. In this video, we are going to see the Learn to Earn Book Show, a beginner's guide to basics of investing and business. Okay, let's get started. The Learn to Earn book was written and published by the Peter Lynch and the John Rothschild at the year 1995. We have seen who is Peter Lynch in the previous video and the John Rothschild is a freelancing writer and an economist. And in the book name itself, it suggests that it is a beginner's guide for the investing and the business. So this is the first book we should read which is written by the Peter Lynch. Okay, now we are seeing the contents in the book that is preface, introduction and the chapter 1 is a short history of capitalism and the second chapter is the basics of investing and the third chapter is the lives of the company and the fourth chapter is the invisible hands and appendix 1 and 2 that is stock picking tools and reading the numbers of the balance sheet. Okay, in this video we are going to see the preface and introduction that is the company around us and the chapter 1 that is a short history of capitalism. In the next video, we are going to see about the next three topics that is basics of investing, the lives of company and the invisible gun. And in the final video, we are going to see the appendix 1 and 2 and the final conclusion about this book. Okay, now let us see the preface of the book, The Learn to Earn. At the first line itself, Peter Lynch complains the modern education that is in the schools, they are not teaching about the investing. According to Peter Lynch, investing is an important subject in the life, but the schools are not teaching the subject to the students. That is the first point the Peter Lynch mentioned in his preface of the book. It goes like the junior high schools and high schools of America have forgotten to teach one of the most important courses of all, that is investing. And Peter Lynch says that the schools teach us history to the students, but the schools are forgotten to teach the evaluation of capitalism and the companies around us. Peter Lynch says that how much importance to know about our history, that importance we should give to the evaluation of the capitalism and the companies around us. And the second thing Peter Lynch says is the schools teach the students about mathematics, but the schools does not teach the students how to invest. The schools are failing to teach the students how to invest and how to make profit in the investing. Peter Lynch complains schools that they are not teaching this. And Peter Lynch says that schools are teaching the home economics, how to cook and how to do budgets and how to save money. And the most important thing we are not teaching the students is importance of the investing. And in India, most of the parents doesn't teach the basic economics like budgeting and savings and investing. But in America, the home economics is a usual one. And Peter Lynch complains that we teach the patriotism to the students. That is how much we struggle to get the independence or to get the basic needs. But we are not teaching how the small companies which is making the wealth of the nation and the prosperity towards the nation. And Peter Lynch says the important thing is without the investors, the small companies cannot grow cannot hire employees and could not get big projects and cannot generate more profits. According to Peter Lynch, the starting point of the business is an investor. And also Peter Lynch says that the people around us will say the importance of getting education and go to a job and saving money. But nobody tells after saving money what we need to do, that is investing. Most of the people don't know the part of investing. What they will do is go to the job, they earn money and they put aside saving some money. That's what many people do. But there is an important step after the savings. That is the investing our money to make the money work for ourselves. The quote goes like, a lot of people must have told you now that the importance of getting a good education and can find a promising career. But they may not have told you that in the long run, it is not just how much money you make that determine your future prosperity. It's how much of that money you put to work by savings and it's investing. It is an important thing Peter Lynch says. And Peter Lynch says the importance of the long run, the investing should grow. How much long time we letting our investment to grow, that much profits we can make in the long run. The more time you have to let your investment grow, the bigger the fortune you will end up with. That is how much time you are giving to your investment to grow, that much profits you will make in the long run. It is the important point set by the Peter Lynch in the preface itself. And to conclude the preface, Peter Lynch says that at least from today, we should start investing our money. And Peter Lynch says that the medical system grown and the average life expectancy also increases so that we need to pay our bills in the long run. So to pay our bills in the long run, we should have money. For that money, we should invest in our real estate so that at our older age, we can be independent about having money. Okay. And he connects the investor with the growth of the nation. He says that the more you invest, the better you will be and the nation will be better as well because your money will help create new businesses and more jobs. It is very true point that the growth of the nation is in the hands of the investors of the nation. And that's how Peter Lynch concludes his preface. Okay, now let us see the introduction, that is the company around us. First of all, let us try to understand the word company. The company is the word which is derived from the word companion, which is a Latin word. 
a companion which means a body or a group of peoples and the formal name of the company is corporation a corporation is a word which comes from the corpus which is also a latin word so means a body or a group of people same thing is a group of peoples running a business that's called company okay and in the company itself there are two types of company that is private company and the public company a company which is in the small group of peoples which is the private company and a public company can have a many shareholders and the share will be listed in the stock exchange that is called a public company okay okay what peter lynch exactly mean the company around us peter lynch has said the famous quote that is we should invest in the company that is around us in the book learn to earn peter lynch has discussed about the companies which is around the america now let us see the companies which is around india and our day to day life okay now let us consider we are wake up in the morning and what we will do we go and get freshen up by brushing our teeth maybe we can use the dabber toothpaste and we can use the colgate brush which is listed in the american stock exchange likewise the peter lynch says what are all the things we are using in our day to day life we should invest in their company and we may use a park avenue soap or dove soap which is also from the hindustan unilever company after taking refreshment we may drink a coffee that may be from an escafe or a sunrise which is a brand of itc and if you go out then we may use our two wheeler that is made by tvs company bajaj company and hero honda company likewise and if we may use the car then we have mahindra tata maruti likewise and if we travel in the public transport then we have the e chair ashok leyland likewise these are the companies around us peter lynch says that we should study the companies around us and if we invest in that stock then we can invest in the stock which we know okay. that is the main point peter lynch says in the introduction to this book that is the company around us okay for now we have seen the preface of the book and the introduction to this book and the first chapter is a short history of capitalism already i have made the video about capitalism and stock market please go check that out now let me explain the two or three topics which is not mentioned in our capitalism and share market video okay the first thing peter lynch talks about is the investing in the index that is nifty 50 and that book peter lynch gave the history of the the dow jones index and now let me show you an image that is the history of the sensex index from the starting stage till now and if you see there are many corrections in the stock market but the stock market in overall is mingled with the economy so if the economy does well so does our stock market okay if you are at the starting stage of investment then peter lynch advised to invest in the index funds and peter lynch says that a capitalist economist will do good in the very long run and he mentioned the two words which lets the human to look forward that is better living this is how human evolved from the past to present and present to future so that to get the future prosperity the main important thing is to make our money work for ourselves that is by investing in stock market investing in other businesses this is how he concluded the first chapter the short history of capitalism and to conclude this video the main three takeaway points are first one is start investing from today onwards and second one is we should learn about the basics of the economics and the growth of a business and third one is how capitalism evolved in the prosperity of the wealth of the nation this is the main three points take away from this video and i have kindly recommend you to read this book before we start our investing journey in the next video we can see about the next three chapters till then stay tuned thank you for watching